Welcome back to Dracon's Place, the Banner Saga. Alright. Wow, I stopped two steps away from a place. You wander through the small village where there have been a cacophony of battle before. Now an eerily, eerie silence hangs over the place. Bodies of the dredged and villagers make a macabre path to houses that have been ripped apart as if by a tornado. Yursa stops in her tracks. Hear that? She all but whispers. It sounds like crying. Soon you discover a trapdoor hidden beneath, hidden by a carpet. Open. Woman scream dies in her throat at the sight of the varl instead of dredge. Men and women both huddle together. Baby cries on her mother's shoulder. They are clearly awed to see so many warriors. What do we do now? Stay here if you like. Go to Strand. We've cleared the way. They give you worrying looks, but eventually begin gathering their things. Think they'll make it? Asked Mogard, doubt in his voice. You don't know. But trying has got to be better than starving to death in a pit. Eric watches. I almost feel guilty about this, he says. I know Strand. And if they make it in one piece, the locals will tear them apart. Not literally, of course, but... Well, maybe literally. I, I might join them. We need you, Eric. Not from what I've seen, he says, but taps the shoe of his boot on the ground and returns to the caravan. There's a market here. Never mind, there's supposedly no one in the town to sell stuff, but we can buy. One Renown only gets one, and there's only four available? Like, that is not worth it. All right, what do we got? A small stone with curious carving, conjuring images of fighting storms. 10% crit chance. Gain aggro. Hmm. Even the godless will hesitate to strike. Okay, minus two aggro. Not great. All right. Temporarily blind their enemies. Plus two strength. 20% chance to dodge. 20% dodge strength. That one is interesting. Like, I get so little, and it takes so much to feed this group that I don't feel like that's worth it. Alright. Well, let's head out, I guess. Alright. You hear a shout echo in the wind, a s standard Varl greeting. A caravan of Varl are heading your direction, probably a few hundred in total. You meet them halfway. Hello. Fastalt. You must be with Vagnar. Was. Vagnar didn't make it. You're serious? It's getting grim out here. But I didn't expect that. You're flying the Skullid Banner. What's happened? Isn't Ulfar in charge there? I'm... Um, Fasselot. Ulfar is still in Skullid. In case he needs to be. He sent me to meet Vagnar. Well, you. We've seen nothing happen in Skullid yet. What do you mean? No dredge. They never come through Skullid. They're always pouring out over Ridgehorn. We only just found out about it. One group went that way. We came here. Ridgehorn, the fort on the bay? That place has been abandoned for hundreds of years. Yeah, maybe that's why they're there. By all accounts, looks like another damned invasion. Let in forces his way into the conversation. Wait a godless minute, what do you... What do you do? Careful now. You be careful. What did you start? 
You think men don't remember history? Bone Banner hangs in Arborang. The Second Great War nearly screwed us all. What did you do this time? Who the fang is this? Why do all of these options suck? Nobody, take him to Grothenheim. We'll meet you later. Shut your mouth. Why do all of these options suck? So it's like, I can insult him, but then what? Tell this guy to just take him off our hands, which doesn't seem great. Shut your mouth or else... So we have an insult him, take him away, or insult him. Liddens have swivels in your decks and eyes wide. He seems uncertain whether to be insulted or threatened. What orders did Ulfar give you, Fasalot? Supposed to offer support any support you need. I've got 300 Varl behind me, and Ulfar wants to know what's happened at Rizhorn. What's your plan? Okay, so we can go there and take this guy and his army with us. Big group. There's a, another group headed there. Um, so we'll have a very large force to be able to engage the dredge there. Um, we can go there. He takes Ludin and goes to Griflehem. Or we can just forget Ridgehorn. Let's go. I'll, my Varl will fall in line. Yours to command, Hakon. Are you insane? He just said an army of dredge are pouring out of that fort. Go on to grow up in the hind then, Prince. Have your blood on my hands. It would be worse than doing nothing. This shuts up Ludin for a moment. You can see the battle raging in his head. He looks desperate for safety, but didn't expect to flee like a coward. Expect you to come along. He glances at his men. We're already this far. This is the Varl's doing. I'll know of it, and so will my father. Besides, you need my help and my fighters. If I go, so do Yurisa and Bursai. Yudin's unexpected flip-flop catches you like a swift kick in the shins. Mogar can't contain a chuckle. Or can barely contain a chuckle. Ha! The prince's courage. Knock him out cold and send him away. <laughs> that seems bad. Do what you like. Paint me the villain, Hakon. What do I care? Sick of you being the only one to do as he pleases in this alliance. These are Varl lands. We're facing an army of dredge. How much experience do you have in these matters? True, mankind has never provoked them into war. You're going for a third. Turning the dredge into genocide a game for your kind? You curse and threaten pandemonium. The prince has chosen to be no responsibility of yours. If legend stays, so do false warriors. Er, yeah, they join the caravan. Plus 330 varl. Plus 60 supplies. Well, that's meager pickings. Vagara finds you, this time in a hurry. Found out what's wrong with the sick varl, he says, clutching his gut. Eat some of it myself, he said. Food's not poison, but it is spoiled. Bad fish and I'm uh, getting more so. Ugh, wish I didn't think about that. Must have got it from the merchant back near Verderfell. Mixed it in with the good stuff. Could have messed up as much of half of our supply. Dump what we know is tainted. Magnar frowns but agrees. The tainted food is tossed down a hill where it won't attract attention. He reports back. Taking care of it. We've got more ill fighters than before. At least 40 at the moment. What do you want to do with them? Avoid until they've recovered. Magar goes to spread the word. Damn careless merchants. You hope this will be the end of it. That sucks. That's rough. 
The hike approaching the Godstone is murder. You recall how much Godstones were built on hills overlooking other Godstones so that travelers could follow them and find their way between cities. It does nothing to ease your pains. Hello, arrows! Dread! shouts Mogar near the front of the caravan. Suddenly, black rocks are whizzing past your head. What the hell is this, you shell? Morgar shakes his head. Sl stone slams into the shield of a nearby Varl, exploding in a flash of light and razor-sharp fragments. Get behind the shield, bangers! shout Mogar as you approach for a fight. Dredge line the battle shield, weapons drawn. A fight seems inevitable. Take a quick head count. There must be 852 of them. We're slightly outnumbered again. You have 178 fighters and 776 borrow. All right, we technically outnumber them. Formations, give the order. Okay, so we have a new guy, a provoker, malice. All right. The character curses and spits at his enemy, um, forcing that character to attack him on the next turn. With his high armor, he often takes little or no damage from the assault. While Malice can be a difficult ability to learn, it's devastating in the right circumstances. Negate a strong enemy for a turn. Um, pull an enemy forward. Um on the board or lock in a character in place to set them up for future damage. And he has returned the favor. Okay. Yeah, he has high armor. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, this guy sounds awesome. Alright. Let's replace Bursai. He goes to the front. He goes soon after. The two of them being a devastating combo. Nice. I like it. Alright. I like that. That sounds like a really cool ability. Just like, no, come here. I want you. It's not ranged aggro, but it's like run up, beat. I think it's like run up, beat them down. It might have slight range. I'm not actually sure on that point. Ah, another one of these fights. All right, we got a whole bunch of slingers. No one is particularly strong. That's good news. Alright. So, here's what I'm going to do. Yeah, these two are going to go... ...down and engage... Alright. Alright, the two of them will go over and engage that group and keep them busy. Meanwhile... Yeah, meanwhile, the rest of my army will go and engage those three. Alright, what is the range on Malice? Yeah, it is right next to him. Alright. 
Alright. I have... Wow. He's already taken damage. Perfect. All right, one. I have already killed one. Alright. Luden's turn. Ow. Alright. Bring the pain. All right. Okay. Luden. All right. Let's see. Yeah, he is too. Okay. Alright, that's another one down. Alright. Okay, that's not what I intended.
All right. Get him, Gunner. Take a moment to survey the battlefield. The enemies push back all the way down the line. Kill a few more, because we're doing good. Now we're not. Okay. Ah, oh, that sucks. All right. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, come closer. Alright, he needs some willpower. Alright. Okay, they get two back per. Okay. Nice. All right. And All right. Let's see, he has two, he has two. All right. All right. I would like to get him a kill. Nice.
All right. Yeah. Nice. All right. Um, hack on will rest. Rest. Move out of the way. All right. And another promotion. Dragonstone. Sweet. No one was lost. One injury. Nice. 17 renown. That was a good fight. That was a good fight. We came out super ahead. What are the depths are these, you wonder, looking at the unusual dread slingers? No one knows. Without warning, a deranged and half-dead slag stumbles out of the brush, throwing itself upon the yaks attached to the treasure cart. Surprised if I'll pull weapons, but not before the whole cart slides off slick rock in a sheer drop, stopped suddenly by a low growl. The enormous metal wagon dangles precariously off of a cliff. From the end, swings a confused yawk still tied to its reins. On top, the dredge hangs on tight, keeping the whole thing from plummeting over the side is Gummolf. One hand white-knuckling the cart, the other wrapped around a tree trunk. Help Gunolf. You grab the cart and pull. You barely make any ground when the tree is holding and two tears on the ground, dragging you with terrifying force towards the edge. Ah, oh, crap. D don't just stand too late. The others lunge towards the cart and just as it topples over the side, in the last moment you let go. But Gunolf does not. No, cries the old Varl. The cart plummets over the rocks along the way, tossing its contents across the snow in a shower of gold and glory. The yawks and the dredge are torn to shreds. Gunnel flies motionless, his limbs splayed at unnatural angles. No. That is... nonsense. Like, that is just straight, like, nonsense. I'm not having... Any of that. Oh. This? Alright. That sucks. I, I hate that sort of thing where it's just like, oh, out of nowhere, just random nonsense. And it's like, no, it... That sort of thing wouldn't be able to happen. All right. All right. All right, anyways, I'm going to wrap this one up here. Next time, when we come back, I'll be at the end of this fight, and we'll do this properly. Like, that just feels like utter nonsense. Alright, anyways, gonna wrap this one up here, and I'll see all of you guys next time. Bye!